Did you just recently graduate college? Are you sitting here not sure what to do next? Or you're completely overwhelmed trying to figure it out? Is your next move finding or starting a job, applying to, or going to graduate school, or you're just completely lost about what to do? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then keep watching because this video is definitely for you. In today's video, I wanted to give you my top 15 tips on how to stay motivated after college and how to not get burnt out in the process. Whether that's motivation for finding a job, applying to graduate school, staying on track to work towards your dreams, or you just started a 40 hour job and you realize it's not what you expected. I am currently two years post undergraduate and I am starting my master's in August. I'm so excited, but it was definitely not an easy process. And I've learned a lot that I wanted to share with you guys. So I just wanted to say first, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexa and this is Life of Lex. Without further ado, let's get into the first tip. Tip number one, find hobbies that you love and hold them close. Specifically hobbies that are easy, mentally relaxing, and don't take much thought, such as painting, video games, yoga, journaling, coloring, reading, baking, etc. There's so many different hobbies that you can do. Try to find the one or two things that you absolutely love and make sure to do them either daily or weekly. Tip number two, stay motivated by setting goals for yourself. Any size goal that helps you stay on track is perfect. Whether that's, I'm gonna apply for X amount of graduate schools today, or I'm gonna write X amount of essays, or I'm gonna apply for X amount of jobs today. Things like that will help you stay on track. And do as much as you are able to do in one day. Don't push yourself too hard or you will burn out. They can be things that help you towards your goal and motivate you, or they can be things that help you de-stress every day. It's just whatever you find works for you. Tip number three, apply for jobs about a month after college. So there's motivation to keep going, but also you have time to rest and relax. I think that everyone should take some time off after graduating. You graduated, you did it. Enjoy it and relax for a little while. However, I know that not everyone has the luxury or necessarily wants to take time off after graduating. And if that's the case, then apply for jobs as soon as you need to. But if you're able to take a break, even for a short amount of time, I highly recommend doing it for your mental health and just to have fun. But try not to lose your motivation and get stuck in a rut in the process. However, if you are in that rut, I guess that's why you're watching this video. So continue on. Tip number four. Keep learning about your major through books, podcasts, videos, anything else you can think of. Human beings love to learn. We are constantly taking in information, whether that's passively or consciously. So you might as well take in information that will help you grow in your field. Tip number five. Do your best to network with people within your major early on. You can use Facebook groups or LinkedIn are just two examples of the many resources that are out there. This will help you with advice, graduate school, internships, jobs, the, the important things after college. Tip number six, surround yourself with people that will lift you up and are also motivated. There is nothing worse than trying to be motivated with someone who doesn't know what they're doing or doesn't want to do anything or just sitting on the couch. And if that's you, that's okay. You're taking the steps. This is the first step watching this video to get to where you wanna be. However, if you are surrounded by people who are not motivated and not driven, it will bring you down as well. If you're also surrounding yourself with people that are in your major, if they're already where you wanna be, if you try to get in touch with those higher up people, they can give you advice, they can help you get jobs, they can help you get internships, they can tell you what they did to get there so that you can meet your goals hopefully faster. Tip number seven. This is not only good for staying motivated and burning out, it's also good for your mental health, your physical health, and your long-term health. And that is working out and stretching. If you are not working out and stretching every single day, with rest days of course, you need to start now. Unless you're physically unable to, I understand, but try to do something to move your body every single day. There are so many, and I mean so freaking many benefits to working out and stretching. I can do an entire series on why working out is good for you, but definitely do your best to implement working out into your day-to-day -day life. Start tomorrow, do it for a month, and see the difference on your mental health and your physical health. Even if you're not working out, just stretching, just moving your body for at least 20 minutes a day works wonders. Tip number eight, 
Make time for your friends after college and your family if you're not living with them. Friends and family are so important for your mental health, especially if your friends or family members are doing the same degree as you. They can be so important for motivation and for not burning out. Sometimes they can be overwhelming. Your family, understandable if you live with them, but that's okay. That's gonna help push you towards your goals and towards where you wanna be in life. So make sure if they are pushing you, say thank you. Tip number nine, and this one I think is super important. It's okay to go at your own pace. Remember that everyone is doing life at a different pace. It's okay to take a gap year or two like me before graduate school if that's your plan. It's okay to work a minimum wage job, job while you're trying to find experience within your field. It's okay if you're starting at an unpaid internship your first year after college. It's okay to live at home with your parents and save up money for your own place. It's okay to not be where your peers are. You are going at the pace you're supposed to and you are on the right track. As long as you're doing what you can to work towards it, that's that's all that matters. Keep going, don't give up, because trust me, it will be worth it. Tip number 10, make sure you have someone you can talk to, to talk about life, keep your spirits up, motivate you to keep going, and help you continue on your path. Whether that's a friend, a family member, or a therapist, make sure you have someone you can confide in, because having that person can really help with your mental health and help you avoid burnout. Tip number 11, go outside get some sun out i think it's at least 15 to 20 minutes of sunlight a day we need to be happy and healthy it's not good to be cooped up inside all day especially if you work a job that requires you to be inside make sure you take a walk sit outside do whatever you can to get your sunlight unless it's snowing or raining of course then maybe like sit in your car and get sunlight but either way get your sunlight or just outside get your outside and get your nature and being outside can really help you to be inspired motivated and not get burnt out i feel like i've said that so many times in this video but it's so important to not get burnt out because once you're burnt out you're freaking burnt out and it's so hard to get out of that state of burnout tip number 12 find books podcasts or videos that interest you but also help you grow. Make sure to find things that help benefit you and help you learn about real life. Some good books are Atomic Habits, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, and Breaking the Habit Of Being Yourself. But there's so many more amazing, beneficial books, videos, podcasts out there. These will help you grow as a person and give you advice that you can take with you for the rest of your life. Again, your future self will thank you. Tip number 13 is actually one of my favorites and it's do what you hate, but do it like you love it. Mindset is absolutely everything when it comes to being motivated and productive. Go into your week, your day, your job, your applications, your workout, etc. with a positive mindset and it will make the biggest difference in how you perform and how you feel after. Saying things such as, I love my job, I love working out, I can't wait to get into my dream grad school, I can't wait to get the job that's in my field will make the process so much better. Start doing it with little things in your life and see how much of a difference it makes in your mental health. Tip number 14, this one, this one. Take time to prioritize yourself and to practice self-care. Self-care is huge on social media right now. I mean everywhere. Morning routines, night routines, how I prioritize self-care, how I reset on a Sunday after a long week, how I practice self-care after my nine to five job. So many, so many different ways and videos and books and information on self-care. If you don't practice self-care, you might as well already be in a rut because it honestly makes a huge difference in your day-to-day -day life when you practice self-care, even if it's something tiny like making your favorite coffee in the morning before work taking that extra five to ten minutes to make your favorite coffee or when you get home taking a nice bath or a hot shower doing a face mask once a week playing video games that hobby i was talking about can also be incorporated into self-care but self-care is just so important and whether it's taking care of yourself mentally or physically or both you just gotta do it because it will there's so many ben benefits to self-care tip number 15 is to keep to a schedule or routine. It's so hard after college to keep a routine going. 
you sleep in late, you go to bed late, you work out at different times a day, you eat at different times a day, you don't have homework you have to do, and you don't have deadlines you have. So you totally get out of routine, but do your best to stick to a routine. My favorite way of doing this is to plan out my days and to time block. This way, you're able to do the things you love, such as if you like love working out, if you love doing your hobby, if you love making coffee, you get to do the things you love, but you also are able to do the things that are priority, such as your work, cleaning, chores, applications, things you don't really want to do. So if you have a routine and you especially time blocking, time blocking is so freaking helpful when it comes to getting things done and also implementing things that you love into your day to day life. Honestly, I don't think any of these tips will help you if you don't have a routine. Unless you're some god who has figured out how to not have a routine and still succeed in life, please let me know down below. If that's you, good for you because I need routines and time blocking in order to do what I need to do and stay productive and motivated. Also, make sure you turn on post notifications because my next video is going to be all about routines. How to find one that works for you in 2022, how to stick to your routines, and how they seriously help you be productive and motivated in your day-to-day -day life. Make sure you check out my 2022 favorite products so far, and my healthy and delicious snack ideas just in time for the summer. Comment your favorite emoji down below if you've made it to the end of this video. Make sure you give this video a nice thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you! Bye!